people say there are good days for hunting and even better ones. But who cares about a little rain when you have that unseen passion for hunting, when you share the same feelings as the hunters shared for centuries on these lands. To walk in the path of the old hunters is a unique privilege. But sometimes the hunter must leave the paved road, must choose a harder way to experience the real challenge. Because an easy hunt will not offer a memory that is worth it to keep for a lifetime. The Hungarian forests are true temples of hunting. A little country in the very heart of Europe has always been famous for its unique hunting culture and rich wildlife. What started as a rainy day quickly transformed into an excellent time for stalking. Maybe the spirits of the ancient Yulai hunting territory knew that something special is happening under the trees. Something that did not happen in this country for nearly 100 years. The respectful hunter is planning to take his first fallow deer buck, but not with a standard cartridge hunting rifle. His bullet will be propelled by 100 grains of black powder to reach the muzzle velocity of 1500 feet per second. This is not a hunt when you need too many charges. The chances for a second shot are minimal. His rifle is just as effective up to 100 meters as the modern rifles, but the old muzzle loader is slow to load. This rifle was manufactured in Bayern in Germany around 1850, but it passed the same proof tests as the modern muzzle loaders do prior to being fired. Loading a muzzle loader needs expertise. Without a well developed load, there is no chance for an accurate hit. Dula is a special place. Without exaggerating, with its 7600 hectare forests, it is the fallow deer paradise of Hungary. 11 of the first 50 fallow deer trophies on the world rank list came from this area of the country. Skilled professional hunters cared for the game here for many hundred years. Our hunter, István, and his guide, Károly, are the first hunters to enter the forest with a muzzle-loading rifle on the shoulder. Our authorities allowed us to hunt with black powder on these territories until 28th February. Diana, the goddess of hunting, followed the footsteps that day. Just after 30 minutes of stalking, we ran into a three years old male wild boar. But that day our aim was different. We were after the most noble game of this forest. The rutting fallow deer buck. And we did not have to wait too much. Just after another mile, we arrived at the very heart of the forest, with 10-12 bucks rutting all around us. Our arrival of course disturbed the party, so the bucks left their territories in a hurry. We decided to wait for their return in a small shed nearby, only 80-90 meters from their personal rutting places. It took only 40 minutes until the music of the bucks started again. The first one to return was an old gentleman. He stopped just outside the range at circa 90 meters, observed us for a few minutes, then carelessly laid down in his rutting place to rest after the demanding efforts of the past weeks. It is not easy to aim to this distance with open sights. 100 meters is nothing for this bullet and rifle, but at 100 the front sight already covers a large area of the body of the game. And then slowly the younger buck started to sneak back also. Their attention is much less during the time of mating, but still the bad wind direction caused us some troubles. Sometimes it seemed like they knew Istvan is not going to fire over 100 meters. They galloped out to save distance and stopped challenging the nerves of the hunter. Karoy suggested a new plan. We decided to leave the shed to be able to stalk with good wind to get closer to the bigger bucks rutting at a distance of no more than 300-400 meters.
and the plan was working. A young buck stepped out of the woods just 40 meters from us. Excellent distance. Istvan already had the sights on the game, but it was too young. It would have been a mistake to shoot the young fellow. And then he appeared. He was moving closer and closer step by step, closing in from 120 meters. The right age, right size of trophy. Exactly the game Istvan was after. The nerves of releasing the shot is something all true hunters feel in these moments. A clean and quick kill can only be accepted. Istvan is a crack shot, the rifle is a tech driver, but still his heart beats like a drum. The buck stopped at 75 meters. Istvan needed only a few more steps to have a clear aim. It was hard to identify the behavior of the game because of the dense smoke and the woods, but Istvan had a secure aim and was convinced about a good hit. Karoj so clearly through his binoculars that the death rush of the buck was only 75 paces. At the end he stopped and collapsed. We waited 10 minutes, then walked to the fallen game following his blood trail. And there he laid peacefully, waiting to be found by the hunter. This is his first fallow deer buck, and the first trophy game of Hungary taken with a muzzle-loading rifle in modern times. The minutes of stress are over, what remains is the unique mix of feelings. The respect for the noble game, sadness for his death, and the happiness of the successful hunt. Our hunting culture has very strong ethic rules for the ceremonies at the game, but these are not just empty traditions, they have a special meaning at a special occasion like this, because this day is the modern time renaissance of the self-denying, moderate hunting method of black powder hunting. The 58 caliber black powder rifle did its job perfectly. The bullet went through the complete body, causing strong bleeding on both sides. At this distance, there are no differences of terminal ballistics effects compared to the traditional hunting cartridges. And why you should try black powder hunting? Magamat, hogy az egész vadászatnak a, a hangulatát megváltoztatta ez a puska, és az a légkör, ami körbevette ezt, igen. A, ezt, a, igen, igen, igen. ezt a helyzetet. Ugye? Ilyen fegyver csak a múzeumban látunk. Így van. se gondolta volna, hogy. Úgyhogy nagyon felemelő érzés volt ebből vadászni. És ebben elejteni, elejteni vadat. Igen. The challenge is greater, the task is harder, but this hunting method offers a greater chance for the game than the digital, nearly self-firing modern hunting rifles do. 
The Black Powder Hunter follows values that really make the difference between a plain game killer and a true hunter. So that day we cheered the new Black Powder Hunter with good Hungarian red wine, with clear conscience. Because for us hunting starts within the hearing, smelling and seeing range of the game. <laughs>